uh, as a part of uh, the whole government priorities of our country, we are very much focused on the policy on smart cities, development and integrated development of, uh, of our country, of our cities. That's why it's really a pleasure for me to be here today at this uh, Congress, a Congress with a very special topic for us, um, having in mind the, the necessity to develop better our cities, to become smart cities, to acknowledge the need of uh, addressing the new reality and uh, really to have a new way on, on how to plan, how to design, how to develop and manage and build our cities to focus uh, the changes on one side climate changes, on the other side migration between cities because it is obvious that in the past years we have uh, as a result of the migration processes, especially of countries like ours, the countries in the European Union, where we see that uh, more than 75% of the population is living in the big cities, is living in the uh, metropolitans. Uh, therefore, those cities should be changed, should be transferred, their management in a way that it is uh, useful for the citizens, providing good green solutions for urban transport, like the previous um, speaker showed some examples of the urban transport. And today I would like to share with you what is our vision of our country, of our government and of our ministry on how uh, our cities to become smart, to become green and to become uh, attractive for living, though providing the all opportunities for economic growth and economic development. First of all, I would like to say that uh, for many years uh, we've been uh, working on the development of the cities, on the development of the urban environment, uh, I should say on a partially, partially manner, with a partial approach, individual approach of the different regions. Therefore, we have decided to completely and significantly change the approach, starting from a uh, top-down approach, I would say, meaning that, uh, first of all, we have developed, we have established the national strategy for special planning, special planning of the whole country, of the whole regions and the territory of our country, uh, providing the long-term scope and objective on how uh, evenly to, to develop the regions, to develop the country, to minimize so-called uh, white spots on the map, uh, minimizing the, trying to minimize the migration from uh, small to medium and uh, big size uh, cities, which is a major problem for us, I, would, I should say. Uh, because uh, in the past uh, couple of years, maybe in the past decade, uh, the example shows that uh, the migration, mig migration processes go from ur uh, uh, rural to urban areas and from small to medium sites and mainly to the big cities. Therefore, on the basis of our national special program for the special development of our country, of the whole territory, we have now changed the approach. Uh, for each city, for each municipality, and in our country we have uh, six not two planning regions and we have 28 uh, districts and 265 municipalities uh, containing the whole population of uh, more than 8 million. Now for each of those cities, uh, in order to proceed with investments both from the state budget, both from own resources and from European Union grant funding, we have requested and we have established the procedure of establishment of the integrated plans for uh, regeneration, renovation, economic development of those cities, trying to focus all efforts in a more integrated way to ensure investments both in infrastructure, investments in uh, economic activities to be combined and uh, to be complementary to each other rather than uh, trying to uh, really just on a case-by-case case basis to provide investments in those cities and in those territories. This, we believe, is a good way in order to focus the investments and the funds available to, to develop our cities. Uh, we have divided uh, those integrated plans with focusing on uh, special so-called zones of intervention. On uh, that zones of intervention provide for us, uh, we believe, uh, a good focus of the initiatives we plan. On one side, we have we have special focus on the development of so-called urban environment, meaning 
smart and intelligent city uh, solutions for urban transport and uh, uh, the transport systems of the city, development of the urban infrastructure, like uh, streets and uh, better traffic management on those streets. On the other side, uh, focusing the investments, the interventions of those investments in social, educational, health and cultural infrastructure, and with a special focus of uh, zone which have the potential for economic uh, activities, activities like providing support, providing good infrastructure, providing uh, good services to potential business initiatives, uh, like not only like business incubators, but production facilities and any other kind of facilities. Another important uh, part and topic of our uh, priorities of our national special development program is a uh, very important part. This is the, the so-called polycentric uh, model of the development uh, of our regions. Uh, because if we look in the global perspective of the European Union objectives of the European Union regional development policy, we see there the focus on big regions and big cities. That is why. Uh, the reason for this is that, uh, of course, in those cities we have the most of the population living. On the other side, we believe, especially with a special focus uh, for the development of our country, that this approach should be complemented uh, with a special focus on not only on the big cities, but on the small and medium-sized uh, cities, because they are the backbone of the economy, they are the backbone of our territory. Uh, and this is the reason that uh, we believe that uh, investments should be focused uh, there, uh, as well in combination investments for supporting economic development, because those cities could be excellent drivers for economic growth if we invest there to establish good infrastructure, uh, rural health, social and educational infrastructure, and providing good opportunities for uh, small and medium companies and other kind of uh, investment opportunities to be available there. This is the only way uh, in which uh, by providing good environment, environment, uh, uh, business environment, uh, social educational environment and uh, good outlook of the city, this is a good way to motivate people to remain living in smaller cities rather than uh, uh, moving uh, towards the capital or the the, the few big cities, which is the norm, normal practice, uh, which we see not only in our country, but in most of the European countries. So these are the two, the two focuses on uh, which we are basing and we are planning uh, both the national resources and state budget investments, trying to support and trying to open uh, the space for uh, better cooperation with the private sector as well. For this reason, in addition to the state budget subsidies, which we provide to our local governments uh, for investments in infrastructure, uh, in a, of course, they are supported with the European Union grant funds for uh, the, uh, development of our regions. We are trying to, at to attract more and more financial sectors and to attract more and more the private sector. In which way we do this? Uh, we are calling them uh, financial engineering instruments by establishing special regional development funds funds in which we invest from the state budget as a, as a basic investment from the European Union funding and then uh, focusing on the multiplying effect of those investments to attract private sector and banking sector investments for uh, projects which have impact both on the urban development and on the economic development of the city. The project should be re revenue generating ones providing uh, employment, providing uh, change in the outlook of the cities and uh, supporting, of course, the economic uh, activities and the economic development. Uh, we have existing uh, such uh, funding instruments and uh, they provide long-term uh, low interest rate, uh, low interest rate uh, funding opportunities for private sector, for public-private projects. Uh, for the development of business centers, business parks, sport facilities, recreation facilities, uh, or any, any other type of infrastructure, uh, which is revenue generating, attracting uh, additional, uh, not only working places and employment, but uh, additional opportunities for the development of the city. And uh, this is our in our plans uh, for the period 2015 up to 2025 to establish special funds not only for the capital but for all cities because, I, as I already mentioned, we believe that the focus and our efforts should be uh, uh, 
to establish such a policy, such a development of our country, but not to divide the cities on big or small cities, to not to divide them on urban or rural areas, but uh, really to, uh, be, to be focused on the more, in a more united, more unified way and approach in the development of our regions. And uh, of course, uh, we should take into consideration all challenges which we face all of uh, in front of us, the challenges of not only of migration processes, but the challenges of the uh, climate change, environmental changes, and uh, our cities should be become smart, green, and innovative. These are the, the three the, the three keywords on which we are basing our efforts and our approach. Uh, this is uh, more or less what uh, what is our focus. What is our uh, point of view of the smart cities as driver for sustainable economic uh, growth. And I thank you for your attention and I'm ready. I will be happy if you have any questions to answer those. Merci thank you very much. Thank you very much. Yes, thank you. If you can, yes, if you can, if it is the question in English, I should be happy that you can my, might use the microphone. Is this working? Yes. yes. Hi, my name is Lisa Fox. I'm from uh, Alberta, Canada. And so thank you very much for your presentation in English. It's very helpful. Um, I was very interested in uh, the way that you're approaching, um, I call it rural development um, in Canada. But I'm curious to know, how do you identify the different zones of intervention? What are the criteria that you're using um, to identify those specific zones of intervention? You highlighted smart, green, and innovative. Um, but what are the rural um, identifiers of those areas that you're actually going to be um, providing the, the, the funding solutions for? Thank you, thank you very much. Um, yes, uh, the, this, is the, uh, this was always a question for us as well, uh, especially in the, in the past years, because since 2007 we are a member uh, for member state of the European Union. You know, European Union providing significant grant funds both on the regional development, for the urban development, and on the other side for a uh, program for rural development. And it uh, always was like, uh, you know, all, always rural funding was a separate one, like uh, a separate uh, state in the state. Uh, providing their own rules, their own priorities uh, for the development of the rural regions, which should not be the case. Which we, we should not uh, allow this division. As I mentioned, we, uh, they should be uh, in com uh, working together. We are trying to, to push and uh, really focusing our efforts that uh, both rural and urban uh, regions are having the same focus, the same approach, and at least following the, the long-term and the overall objective for the, for the spatial development of the territory, uh, trying to support each other rather than dividing. Uh, so when we were asking each of the municipalities, both rural and uh, in rural and in urban areas, developing their urban development plans and integrated urban development plans, uh, and always to include the rural areas, rural zones, uh, and in this way to, to provide the necessary ground. So on one side, they are establishing the development of the city itself, the urbanized area, by establishing social zones, also for social activities, economic zone providing those SMEs or any other production facilities, and uh, a zone, a zone providing public services, but always as a part of the investment, as a part of the priorities, at least 20% uh, of the funding of the, uh, of the efforts to be focused on, uh, especially for those municipalities, which they have a big uh, percentage of the territory covering rural areas, uh, to focus investment interventions in uh, rural areas as a top up, uh, of course, to the, to the other interventions in the infrastructure and the economic zone. So in this way to have a complementarity of the investment. So, but uh, the other discussion which we were having at that time was uh, whether we need to, uh, to have a special, how to say, priority list and saying in this region we should focus only in, uh, in the, uh, let's say, fruits and vegetables part of the agriculture. In the other area, we should focus only on uh, uh, innovations, uh, IT solutions or IT sector businesses. Uh, or whether we should provide more subsidies to the different uh, economic uh, uh, activities or uh, those who are trying to, to establish any kind of a startup. 
Um, we were an analyzing different experiences in the different countries, and uh, the decision was with that we should not focusing on uh, predefining that in the certain region they should be only focused on this, let's say, area of agriculture or area of any kind of economic activity or SMEs, because this will limit any kind of any any potential potential available in the region, which is unlocked, let's say. So uh, that's why we are providing uh, good infrastructure. We're trying to provide good infrastructure, both uh, educational, social health, and uh, good infrastructure for like water, sewage system, roads, and etc. Uh, including uh, Wi-Fi. I should say that we are one of the countries where we have uh, really very good. Uh, broadband infrastructure, Wi-Fi infrastructure, again, trying to support the business, but without limiting the, the different types uh, of uh, investment opportunities and in the in the region, the same with the, with the rural development, because the experience showed that in the last years, we were focusing on the certain sectors of agriculture, farming, uh, but uh, at that time, it, uh, it shows that it should, be not, should, should not be the case, because more subsidies you provide to a certain sector in the agriculture, uh, you, uh, the other sectors uh, become less developed. So this is, this is not a, let's say, positive way to proceed with those. So this one, uh, that's why we're trying really to balance the approach, both urban-rural, and both economic uh, operators in the different areas. This is, this is what we're trying. Of course, this is not an easy job, but this is... Uh, a long-term goal, and we are trying clearly to focus uh, the, the efforts in the, in, the, in the planning process. Thank you. Merci.